morning everybody welcome to another edition of the sunday sunshine show um for those of you that are new this show is brought to you every sunday morning at 7 30 uh, by four youtuber friends um we've all met on youtube and we're all friendly we all speak all the time um and we get together every sunday morning and do a video on the same theme um but we all do put our own slant on it. It's a bit different, you know, so it's not four exactly the same. Um, so uh, there's four of us and we call ourselves for a bit of fun, the Transatlantic Housewives, um, mainly because one of, um, one of us lives over the Atlantic in America. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it, what, who you can meet on the internet. Let me introduce you to the other girls. Uh, there's... Uh, Busy Bee Marie. Hi everyone, my name's Marie and my channel is Busy Bee Marie and my channel is all about having some fun. So come on over and say hello and you will find some hauls, some vlogs, some travel, some thrifting, DIYs and of course every Sunday the collaboration with the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. Come on over, say hello, I'd love to see you. Thank you for your time, hope to see you soon. Now, Busy Bee Marie lives um, across the Atlantic in America. Then there's Geordie Grandma. Hi, I'm Karen from the Geordie Grandma and I'm a 60 year old YouTuber from the northeast of England. I do videos on plus size try-ons, uh, bargain shopping hauls, a few travel vlogs. I do some favourites of the month videos, makeup videos. So if you like that, that kind of thing, please pop over to my channel and have a look. And if you like me, you can always subscribe. Thank you. Um, oh, I'm sure you'll know where about she lives. She lives in the Northeast. That's Karen from Geordie Grandma. And then there's Maria, Maria Crocker. Hello everyone, I'm Maria and my channel is Maria Crocker. And I'm a lifestyle channel. I recently moved into a park home. So there's lots of home updates coming up. And I love doing clothing hauls, so I do a lot of Marks and Spencers, Roman and the supermarkets. So yeah, if you're interested, please come over and take a look. And Maria lives near the Cotswolds. I'm not exactly sure where, but it's near the Cotswolds. Um, and so we all get together every Sunday morning. And this week we're having a bit of a declutter, uh, that sort of theme. Well... I, the thing is, I have decluttered my wardrobe as much as I can, so I had to sort of think, what can I declutter? Well, one of the things that I've been going to do for ages is, years ago, I used to look after um, two of my great nieces um, in the morning before school and after school, and then the younger one I used to look after all day Wednesday. And they both had, like, toy boxes here, um, now, one of them is nearly 15 and one of them's 11. So um, they don't really need these toys. But every time they come, they'll say, have you still got those toy boxes in the cupboards, Auntie Tina? And I keep saying to them, yeah, well, will you sort them out? Because, like, they have had to sort out a few times. But normally what happens is um, the older one sorts her stuff out and then the younger one puts it in the <laughs> box. So now I really think they don't need these boxes. So, but there are some things that were my children's, and I don't want to part with them for sentimental reasons. Um, so I'm just going to go through these um, and sort a load of stuff out. I'll send to the charity shop, and I'll see if I can reset it up with me. It's two boxes like this that take up so much room in my cupboard here that I finally got round to doing it. Now we have had sorted through these lots of times before, but uh, if I can get as many, rid of as many items as possible, that would be good. I know this is a very funny declutter, but it's um, what I'm going to do. So there's lots, there was lots more stuff in here than there actually is. Uh, but anyway, I'll go through now. These, what I got for them, they were all read it yourself books. So there's Peter and the Wolf, Hide It. Oh, that was one of my favourite stories. The Ugly Duckling, Red Riding Hood, Thumbelina and Puss in Boots. So they can go to the charity shop. Two, four, there's six of them. Now what else have we got here? A lot of books, I think. This is... um. 
four fierce kittens so that can go as well <coughs> oh this i used to love this book this actually was one of my children's books and it's called the butterfly ball and it's got some beautiful prints in but i think it's probably see and, and there's like poems on the other side to the print you know this is like the hornet and the wasp and then there's um like a little story about it on here it's about the invitations going out from the butterfly ball and the grasshopper's feast. You can see it's been well loved, but I think that's seen its day, so that can go. All right, what else have we got? Right, well, I'm, these, I don't know if anybody had these. They're, um, they're those topsy-turvy dolls, you know, that's Little Red Riding Hood, and you turn it round and that's Grandma. I actually got that from my neighbour, uh, but um, children always love to play with it. So I think I'll perhaps hang on to that. And I have got another one here, um, which is, I think this is Cinderella. There she is in her rags. And then you turn her upside down, she's in a ball gown. I just used to tell the stories with this. So I'm going to hang on to those. That's a spooky pad. Now she'll give that to my nephew, my little nephew. Perhaps hang on to it till he comes round. Some stickers. I have no idea what that is. Obviously, they used to do crafts. It's something to do with that. So that can go. Pencil case full of pencils. That can go. I don't think we need that tin. A large pen that can go. Oh, sellotape, that always comes in useful. They must have been using that. And then I've got a lot of the old McDo um, McDonald's toys. You know what you used to get with McDonald's? I'll perhaps hang on to those because they like playing with them, little ones, if they come. I'll perhaps put them all in one of these um, bags. Look, they, these used to get them at McDonald's now. I think you get a book now, don't you? A little yellow car, that can go. I shall put all these back in one of the, these boxes. These pens can stay in. What have I got here? Oh, I think that's another McDonald's toy. A hair bobble, that can stay in here. They, they, I'll fill this up with um, things that we're not using. Oh, some photographs, some old photographs. I'll have a look at what they are. <laughs> From one of the parties that we had here. I think it was a party that my that's my lovely auntie and uh, my sister-in-law. Both of them are no longer with us now. I will hang on to those. I don't know what they're doing in there. Oh, there's another one as well. I will hang on to those. There is another one as well. Oh, that's one of my sons and my husband. I think he was at a fancy dress called Batman. Oh, this was um, this was my niece's um, 21st. Must have been over 20 years ago. I won't show the photos. I won't embarrass anybody. We've just seen if there was one with me and my husband on. That's both my lovely sister-in-laws. No, I thought there might be one with me and my husband on that I could have shown you. Hang on to the photographs. I'm going off at a tangent now, aren't I looking at photographs? And then there's this. Now, does anybody remember these? The bobbins. Obviously, I was trying to teach them to do, um, the, you know, where you go, you go round with the wool and over and it knits. 
right it's a knitting bobbin and then another hair slide right so that's one box done so i'm going to put all the things that are going to the charity shop back in this box right on to box number two more books i probably sorted stuff out before and decided to keep a lot of the books this is a mr man coloring book i might hang on to that because if children come round, it's nice for them to do another read it yourself book three little pigs this is a nice book teddy bears i used to love these pop-up books for my children you know why they you can lift something up like it, this cupboard you know you can that can go this has never been used so that can stay till they come some come round mr noisy oh no mr yeah mr noisy i, thought, I didn't know it was mr noisy or mr noisy a dinosaur sticker book. I'll perhaps hang on to that in case, you know, if children come round, it's, oh, fairies, I'll put that one in there. Some lovely books, isn't there? All right. More books. Some more read it yourself. I used to buy these for them. I'll put those in there. They'll be handy for somebody, you know, at the, at the charity shop who needs to buy some children's books and three little pigs. And then this opposite, which is good for when they're very young. And then this, my little niece used to love playing this, you know, the big snap cards. But I don't think she'll be bothered now. <laughs> now she's, uh, well, she's 11, nearly 12, I think. Right, just a few more McDonald's toys. So I'll keep those in. I'll put the things that I'm keeping back in one of them. So we've at least got rid of one. I'll keep the McDonald's toys because they do like playing with them. So it wasn't a very um, good organisation thing, but I have got rid of quite a few things. And I did sort of... And I did sort a few things out of the bedroom, so um, I think I've got about 10 things up there that I've sorted out. I'll just count how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 19. Oh, there's at least 30 items there. So that's quite good. It's been a bit of a funny... Um, sorting out this but um i didn't really want to get into going into my cupboards and that because um i'm off to london in the morning um i'm going with my daughter we're going we're getting the 6 30 train to london uh to see um we're going to see guys and dolls the um it, it's a new version of it it's in the round at the bridge theater so i'm looking forward to that so I don't want to start emptying cupboards and then getting <laughs> a mess when I've got to get sorted for going to London because I've not done anything yet. So this was a very short video and a very funny video <laughs> really for a sorting out. But I hope you've enjoyed it and um, I hope you'll pop across to the other girls' channels who I'm sure... Um, will be doing much better sorting than me but uh, i have a feeling that uh, busy bee marie um is having a week off this week um so um she's away so i think she's having a week off so um pop across to geordie grandma karen at geordie grandma and maria crocker and see what their their sorting now has been like so i'm glad you've watched it um thank you for popping in and I'll see you in my next video, which I hope will be a bit better than this one. Okay, bye-bye. Bye for now.